Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Crystal, and we are currently playing Star Wars Knights of Republic. We just finished our BS case, <laughs> so let us continue and go find the Republic base. Operations in here, so we can go and give them the data, wherever the fuck that is. Mm, this looks like more of a bar. What? You're a lot more friendly than most of the cell cap here. What are you talking about? What do you want me to do? Why do you need me for this? Look into this to calm the cell cat's fears, though I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. True. <laughs> I'll look in it for you, Nico. Nilko. Okay. Wait, do I have anything actually? Let me see. No, I'm still going to do it. Okay, I guess I don't. Okay. Let us go home. Assume that's not the way. I assume it's this way then. Julie, it is you. I, I need your Oh shit, this bitch. Laura, of all the people. How did you even know I'd left Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunry. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? It's horrible, Jolie. Sunry has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunry isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Elora. Mm. We're Sunry now. 
Sundry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry somehow. Okay. Elora has told Julie that her husband has been imprisoned for the murder of a Sith woman. Elora, Elora is adamant that her husband is not responsible and has begged you and Julie to help her prove his innocence. She says that you can talk to the judges in the court and help him get released. Okay. Well, since we're already here. Let's go see! I would like to invert the murder, the investigate the murder case involving Sunry. This should be interesting. Seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. Okay. He's supporting judges in the court, and they have consented to appoint you arbiter in this case. As arbiter, you will defend your client to the best of your ability before the judges. They have given you the following information as well. Sunry was seen leaving the scene of the murder after a blaster shot was heard. Sunry, Sunry has notable crippling injuries from his past experience as a war hero against the Sith. So it's definitely him... Mm. This is testified to by the proprietor of the hotel where the occupied Ingus, where the occupied Ingus in the room that he had rented a Sith woman, Elisa, was found dead, clutching a Republic War medal in her hand. There were two witnesses besides the hotel owner. One is Glupar, a Rodian, who was staying in the next room. The other is Frilith Ma, me, 
a gambler who was also staying nearby. Their stories seemed to co co corroborate Ignis. Hmm. The fuck is he at, though? Anything suspicious? Wait, isn't he... How would he run if he has, like, a disability or, like... I don't know, if he has such crippling injuries, how could he run? Y'all are just all unpleasant. What do you think of Sunry? Anything suspicious about this case? What do you think of the Republic and the Sith Empire? So unpleasant. Yeah, you will probably. What do you think of Sunring? Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I will. Is there anything suspicious about this case? Oh. Y'all are just deeply involved with love and stuff, aren't you? Oh. I mean, I get it, the Republic ain't perfect, but god, you okay with fucking flavors and everything? Y'all are so annoying to deal with. Questions about the trial. Anything suspicious about this case? Simply because it was real does not mean Sunny would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. <laughs> What do you think of Sunry? Speaking of that injury, has it been taken into consideration, Your Honor? What? How would he have been able to run if he was injured so badly?
Wait, where is the prison? Okay, so the holding cell's over here. Well, thank you. Summary. Joey, what are you doing here? The law sent me, Summary. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. So I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's, well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. There are a few, uh, let's go over that. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh, I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith when I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look Probably. at the facts they've given. Alessa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes crosser to crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? True. Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Cellcat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with, I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Hmm, I need to escape the case of morning. The idea is where I should look. I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Cellcat already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with off-worlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith embassy. Anything else I can help you with, I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Uh -huh. There's a few things we have to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. The judges said that you left after the shot was fired. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Okay, I'll be going now. Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. Okay. Sonny claims he's been set up by someone to take the fall for Elisa's murder. He claims he was secretly trying to turn her into double agent for the Republic and that the Sith are most likely... 
Sid most likely killed a result of that. So how, where is the hotel at? Okay, well, let's leave this area and see if we can find, I guess, the said hotel. Yeah, and just see. Is there anything over here? Thing over here. No, I guess let's just try the other area. Can't stop to talk to tourists. I'm on Colto packing duty. Bitch, I'm a tourist. Do I go this way? No, I gotta go straight down. Straight on down. Let's see if we can find the hotel. East Courtyard, Republic Enclave, Tyvark Shop. And who am I looking for? Wait, what? Okay, let's go to the other side and see if we can find the hotel or whatever. Yeah. Let's see what we can find. A hotel east. Okay. Now all I'm seeing is the Sith. Well, what's in there? That middle part. Ah. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a store? You got any armor plating for my spook bike? I thought this garbage was free. Oh, God. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Well, who does? Who does that help? Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Dick wads. You know anything? I'm not in oh I'm not here to make fun of you, I'm Crystal. Yes, let's Mm, I have to ask you some questions. You could know something though, maybe. Yeah. 
I'm investing in this sunny case. Right? I'll be going now, my friend. Okay. Let us go. Well, actually, what's on the other? Why is that all blacked out? Have I just not walked over there, really? Actually, yeah, what is over here? Soup registration. Kipuna na bonsha. Kava du takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu waita donga. Tulpa da bonk molia gando da nago chuchut. Maybe he might know something. Now I'll just be going down. Well, my friends, I know the most didn't happen this episode, but you know what? We'll continue our trial and wrap it up on the next one. And I will also see you then, and may the Force be with you.